These are hard times, and this is a difficult practice. I stand here in an empty sanctuary some weeks before Rosh Hashanah, attempting to cry out with the Shofar across time and space, hoping that you may hear the sound on Rosh Hashanah. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov says that the capacity to cry out, whether through shouting, praying, singing, or blowing the shofar, is a channeling of power that can shatter the control that evil power and falsehood have over us. But he also warns that whenever a person channels power, whenever you channel power, your shadow side awakens as well. The voice of your darkness echoes and hovers around the sound of your crying out. And at times, the echoes can even drown out the original sound. On this basis, he explains the Mishnah in the third tractate of Masechet Rosh Hashanah, which says, but if a person blows the shofar into a pit, those that actually hear the sound of the shofar have fulfilled their obligation. But those who only hear the echoes or the revibrations of the sound have not fulfilled their obligation. The Hebrew word used for obligation is yetza, literally going out. And on that basis, Rabbi Nachman rereads this Mishnah to address a person who cries out or who blows the shofar from within the pit of personal or communal darkness. Then he says, people who hear the actual sound of the shofar, the holy power that is in that crying out will be able to find a way out of the darkness. But if all they can hear are the echoes, the shadow side of that power, they will not find a way out. I feel that this year, I am like the Tokea Bebor, the person blowing shofar in the pit of darkness. My prayer is, that even as this sound travels through electrical currents and is reconstituted as an echo or even an echo of an echo, that somehow through all of this, we will hear the true sound of the shofar, which will bring us back together and take us out into freedom. For the sake of uniting the Holy Blessed One and the Shekhinah, of bringing closer the world as it is and the world as it could be, I bring my fear and my love as I come for all of Israel and for all beings in the world. I stand here to offer myself in the practice of blowing shofar, to give voice to the cry that rises within. May this shofar be a channel to focus and clarify our power, to break free of tyranny, and to find our way out of the pit of darkness. May the echoes of my own shadow not cover the pure sound of the shofar itself, as it carves a path into the depths of the heart where we will find a way out into freedom. And let us say, Amen.
Yeah. Thank 
Ki tifere uzamo ata uvirtonka tarum kalnen.